Hi, welcome back. On the previous video, we saw how you can bring your Power BI dashboard tiles into your Power App. This time, we will see how you can bring your Power App into your Power BI dashboard so that you can edit and change the data on your dashboard without having to go to the data source like your SharePoint base or wherever it is. And also, we will take a look how you can refresh the data without having to go to the Power BI service. Stick around, give a thumbs up if you like the video, make sure to subscribe and enjoy. So as you can see here, we have our uh, financial sample data in our SharePoint list that we've been using also for um, a couple of um, videos now. And um, I have also created a Power App with that data, which is um, just a simple mobile version Power App, Canvas Power App, that you can browse the data, you can um, you can edit the data, if you, you can create a new item for the data set or in the data set and so on and so forth, which is simple, but it works. So now we want to see how you can bring this Power App uh, Canvas into a Power BI dashboard. So that Let's jump to Power BI desktop and here's the, um, yeah, the report that we've been <laughs> working for um, the last couple of videos as well. And um, as you can see here, we have a couple of pages with a couple of visualizations, but uh, we are going to use this page six because here's uh, some white space. And uh, we have also a table here showcasing the countries, which we can also test um, how it looks like after putting some more data in using our Power App. To do so, you only have to select insert and there it is, it says Power Apps, select that and it will bring a Power App tile into your dashboard, which it says um, how you can bring your Power App in here. And to do so, you have here one field on the right hand side. And it doesn't matter which data set or which data field you drag into that. I will drag now countries in there. It will now trigger the uh, Power App creation or Power App um, selection. So uh, it will ask you now, you can either create one or choose one app. I will choose one and I will choose the sample app that I just showed you. I will select that and then also add. Um, I had my app is already saved, so I will skip that. And there it is. Our app looks exactly like in our Power App uh, development environment, which we just saw. So as you can see here, we can use it, we can create a new item, refresh it, and so on and so forth. So let's test it. Let's create a new item. The segment will be um, head uh, music. The country will be um, my country, Albania. And the product will be headphones. And um, let's, let's put some numbers here, it doesn't matter, and so on. And select save or submit. And if we go back to our data source, which is our SharePoint list and refresh the page and select country, filter by, as you can see here, we already have the data in our data source which is pretty cool. So how do we see this data now in our Power BI dashboard? We have to publish the dashboard and go to Power BI uh, desktop or a Power BI service and then refresh the data here and so on and so forth, which is doable. But how do you do it if you have this dashboard or this report embedded in a, um, in a SharePoint uh, site or in a web page? How do you allow your user to uh, refresh the data if they need so? So that's a bit tricky now because you don't have the option to do that. And uh, But it is not very difficult to implement an option. And uh, how we will do it today is we will utilize Power Automate. So we'll create a flow and we will integrate it somewhere here in this app and allow the user to refresh the data set so that he or she can see the data that they just entered um, in, on the dashboard as well. To do so, we have to go to Power Automate, of course, and uh, select new flow. This will be an instant cloud flow since we uh, want to trigger it from Power Apps. Let's call it a data refresh app. Like that. And we obviously need to select Power Apps, then create. And the next step and the only step 
is Power BI. Here it is. Select that. And in Actions, we have not add a row, not export, but refresh the data set. We need to select the workspace we are have it. We have our uh, data set, which is my workspace, and the data set itself, which is the demo Power BI. Select Save, and that's it. So our flow now is ready. What we need to do next is to embed this flow into our Power App so that it can be triggered from there. So let's go back to our Power App. And here we have our Power App, but we don't have that much space so that we can uh, bring that um, data refresh there. So I had an idea. We already have this icon here, which fetches the data from the SharePoint list and shows it again in our Power App. Why don't we just embed the refresh the data set flow into this icon as well, so that it refreshes the data set in Power BI and also fetches the data from uh, SharePoint, which is cool, right? And as you can see here, if you select the icon, we have here refresh the financial sample, which is our uh, data uh, in SharePoint. And if we select semicolon, you can add another action next to it. In this case, if you, because we have to select action and then Power Automate, this will uh, delete this because it um, replaces everything that's, it, that's it in that field. I will go on and copy this and showcase it to you. So if you select Power Automate and then go to Data Refresh app, the one we just created, as you can see, it added the trigger. We just need to close the parentheses because we're not passing any information to the flow. But it deleted our refresh the data uh, source. So it's not there anymore. That's why I, I told you to copy it and uh, you can add it on later. So I copy it and there it is. With a semicolon, this should do the trick. And uh, now this icon, when you select it, it will not only fetch the data from SharePoint, it will also trigger the flow, which will refresh the data set. Okay, so our flow is ready, our app is ready. Now let's go and bring it into our Power BI service. To do so, select Home, select Publish, Save, select your workspace. I want to replace it. Got it. And now that we are in our Power BI service, we should refresh the page and be able to see our Power App in the screen here. And there it is, it's loading. Okay. So now we have our Power App in our Power BI dashboard. But we still can see Albania here because the data set has not refreshed, right? We only put the data in the data source. So let's test it out. Select refresh. This will now refresh the data, but we cannot see it here yet. Reason for that is because even if you refresh the data set, you still have to go and refresh the visuals. And that you can do here in the top right uh, corner of the screen. So like we are now able to see the countries. So let's try it out again. Select plus and um, let's put another segment. I don't know. Um, loud speakers, country, Denmark, product, Bucard, and select save. Now the data should be in the data source. Select refresh the list. This should now trigger the flow. Let's take a look. Eight seconds ago. And if we now refresh the visuals, we can see Denmark in there. So there you have it. Imagine this uh, report embedded everywhere. You can think of like a web page or a SharePoint page or whatever, where you cannot um, refresh the data. So I think this is pretty helpful and it's also simple to do. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And um, I will catch you on the next one. Bye.